As we commemorate Black History Month, we want to introduce you to a 90-year-old woman from Evanston. Her family has a painful past, but it has also made a positive impact in the community. CBS 2's Sandra Torres brings us her story. He looked for hope. For Eleanor Hill. Found only a rope. Writing and reading poems about her grandfather. Caused him to choke. Helps her cope. I'm trying to capture how he felt. Her grandfather was Anthony Crawford. To grope needlessly. A wealthy farmer and minister who was lynched in Abbeville, South Carolina in 1916. He went into town. He had brought his, his cotton in to sell it. And they did not want to pay the price because he was a black man. They beat him and then hung him. The incident forced her family to migrate to Evanston. They moved into this home in the 1930s. We were segregated. But her heritage did not deter her. Instead, it motivated her to become a librarian and contribute to a black history resource center in Evanston's school district. The majority of the teachers were white and they didn't know any history. Her heritage also made an impact on well, her daughter. It was all black, it was segregated. Who now leads a nonprofit helping low income families in what was once the school her mother attended. We need to tell the story because it does impact our lives on a daily basis. And while their story is painful, and couldn't fight back. They also feel it's crucial to share it. By a mob that lacked decency. And the family is still seeking justice. The U.S. Senate did issue a public apology to them in 2005, but they have not recovered 500 acres of land that Anthony Crawford owned before he was killed. And they're not sure if they'll ever recoup it. Robin Erica. So powerful to hear, especially such a personal story coming from someone in a poem. Absolutely. And it was say, she was saying it was really hard for her to talk about that, to read that poem at the beginning. But now, as the years have gone by, it's much easier for her to share that it story. It is powerful, especially when she's looking right at the yes. camera, right? Absolutely. Right, thanks. Thanks, Sandra.